In this video, we'll make a cabinet door design like this. So first we create a new model in AutoCAM, depends on the wood board size we want to use. We draw a rectangle. Make the size we want. For example, four hundred millimeter width and uh, eight hundred millimeter high. Carry it, and then we draw another one and give it. 300 by 600 select them both and uh, make them center to each other okay so here we need a square here Give it a size 300. Then we copy it and put it at the bottom of this inner rectangle. Now we draw another rectangle. We make a center to the bottom square and then we rotate it by 45 degrees. Then we mirror it horizontal from the center. We select both these narrow rectangles and then we merge them together into one shape. They now we delete the lower square and then we copy the cross shape. Control C and Control V. Then we center it to the top square. Now we merge the two crosses. We delete the upper square. Now we use the inner rectangle to subtract the double crosses. So now we get this shape. We select all the patterns and we place them at the bottom left corner of the workpiece. Then we use the nest tool. We need to set the diameter of the cutting tool that we use to cut out each doors. We can set the 2 diameter bigger to make the distance between each door bigger. We can press Ctrl Z to 
cancel the nesting and we try another parameters. We select all and ungroup them. Now we only select the outline of each door. Control J to group them together. And then we select all the inner shapes, the triangles and the small squares. Then we select the smart engraving tool. We will make a we make a two like this, and uh, we keep the parameter as this. Make sure to check on the these two options and calculate now, and we get the two path down. Now we select the outlines and we create another two path providing I'll make it long because I want to do a bevel effect on the border. So the finish depth will be 6 mm. And we choose a V-bit. OK, we will use 120 degree. OK, calculate now. Then we create another two paths to cut each door out. This time we'll use outside and uh, finish steps same to your wood board. And we'll use a cutting tool that we usually use. Twelve millimeter, for example. Select, and we can change the two number here, and change the spindle speed. Also, the step down value we can make it same as your workpiece. Now we simulate all the two paths. Now the bevel edge on the door edge. Now cut out each door. just like this and we can change the material of the simulation and uh, now we have another two paths need to do we need to cut these triangles out to make it a hollow effect. 
So we'll use the offset and uh, to the inside, make the distance 10 millimeter. Mm, seems not so close, so we control Z to cancel. We make it 20, try again. Mm, seems too far. We control Z to cancel again. And we make the distance to 18. Hmm, this time seems okay. Okay, so we can draw J to group all these new created rectangles and squares. And then we create another two paths to cut them out. We'll use along the vectors. And we'll use a cutting bit 8 millimeter of the diameter. Make the step down value to 10 millimeter. Okay, so it will go two passes, two steps to finish each cutting. Calculate now. Okay, we move the two pass to the second place. Now we need to check the two number of each two. We will make the 8 millimeter end mill to the number 2, T2, and the 120 degree V bit to be 2, 1, and the 12 millimeter end mill to be the T3. Okay, and now we can simulate last two paths we just made. Okay, you can see that the inner triangles are cut out. Okay. Now we can save all these two paths into one file for our ATC CNC router. And uh, I think we better to make the order as the two, one, two, three, like this. And we choose the post processor. There shall be a syntax. Yes, this one. And they gave it a name. Door 1. Usually I won't let the spindle go back to home position after the work done. Save. Okay, thank you for watching. Comment below or email me if you have questions. See you next time. Bye.